All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Bastion Defense Brawl. We are playing some of Orzu today. Let's get cracking. Brawl my first. We have Aura, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get the cooldown reduction Aura here, because you guys already know what's up. And next thing, we have Saps, so our base structure attacks half as fast as it normally does, uh, but we also have double the amount of life that it normally does. So good things and bad things. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna put down my little photon cannons over here, and oh, I think I'll take force. Force isn't too bad because I can run back in. I probably could have gotten shadow, but nah, I think force is probably fine. Um, uh, and let me go tier two here. I'm against. What am I against here? There's a Tychus in the last position. I'm against. Oh Jesus! I'm against Mansk. I'm against Mansk. Uh it may or may not be bad. I feel like I could just go Centurions against him. Or actually no, I need I need DTs. I need I need DTs and stalkers, I think. I think that's what I gotta go. Um But yeah. We'll see. Manx just went tier two. <sighs> Laser beam is gonna be really annoying to deal with though. Because it's gonna keep beaming me. Uh, although I, I don't know if Manx can actually deal with DTs. Cause I'm just thinking about it. Like, what what does he have against DTs? Manx can Manx can you can build big chunky boys. I guess you can build big chunky boys to deal with DTs, but I feel like DTs can do quite well here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right, Tyke is going down here. I'm getting scanned here for the Swan Laser Beam. Oh, I can't blink. Oh, well, <laughs> what is Manx doing? Uh, Max hasn't built anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan him here. He hasn't built anything, but I think he has earth. He has earth here. No, he has life. Oh, he has life. He's gonna sneak up on me. Uh, I'm gonna get some DTs over here, just in case here. There we go. Alright. By the way, guys, we have hit 800 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much. Um, so I'm gonna schedule a live stream. I'm gonna say next week. Uh, as of now, it's gonna be, I, oh, I'm, I'm actually quite busy on the weekends now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm gonna see if I can schedule it for, I wanna say Saturday at some point in time, some point in time on Saturday, you know, um, and probably gonna be 5, 5 p.m. Eastern Center Time for three hours, or actually, should I go 5 p.m.? I should probably just go a little bit later, like 7 p.m um eastern center time until 10 p.m eastern center time uh so that that'll, that'll be the schedule here tentatively you know 7 p.m to 10 p.m eastern center time uh it's gonna be a bit later than what i normally do it for i think because normally I usually, I usually go from like six to nine i think um but yeah i'm gonna go for that for 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 the coming coming week because of uh i'm just i'm just super busy now uh but we still got time for that but that being said if you guys are just new to my channel and you guys enjoy direct side content you guys want to well, hasten our goal to 900 subscribers. Well, be sure to drop a sub if you're not yet subbed already. But thank you everyone who has subbed, uh, because we are we are now at 800, at the very least. At the very least, let's see. Um, what am I doing here? Let's see. DTC is just gonna do some blink action. Cut here's cut our way through Tychus here. I'm curious what Manx is trying to do here. He hasn't put anything out yet. He's definitely here. I scanned him and he's moving. Don't tell me he's going for um uh an August grad rush. Because that would be ridiculous. Meg's still building nothing here. I'm getting really sussed out here. Okay. I might have to go invisible void race to to, to mess with him. Um Meg's still nothing. Hella sus. Uh, I'm gonna have to go invisible void race here, but we'll see. I got my black hole here. Um, but yeah. I might want to save the black hole just in case, like, something something weird happens here. Alright, impalers. Impal the Huck needs more impalers. He needs, like, he should probably put them off to the side as well. He currently doesn't have enough of them as it stands. Uh, let's see, DTs here, just gonna cut their way through Kev. Uh-huh, stack enough to pound Tychus, that is true. That is true, but what is Manx doing? 
This is super suspicious. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this one bit. Um, mm, I'm gonna save up for my Shadow Guard, to be honest, because Shadow Guard are 200, and they're, like, pretty elite. They come with all their skills, and they do much more damage. Uh, so I'm gonna get a Shadow Guard here, I guess. Because these guys do 85, these guys do 45, so the damage difference is palatable. Unfortunately, Stealth Void Rays are terrible against Tychus. Um, that's the only thing. I think I'll put the Shadow Guard here, here, and I'll put the, uh, another Shadow Guard here and there. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh, no, those are Manx's boys coming out from the, uh, mm -hmm. the bunker there. I might just Black Hole here. I don't know. Like, the Stalkers here are helping out, kind of. Oh, Manx is Ultralisk. What the heck? He has a bunch of Ultralisks here. Oh, surprise Ultralisks. I mean, Ultralisks don't do too well into Shadow Guard, because Shadow Guard do so much damage per hit. I think um, I should be fine here. Yeah, like, those Ultras just got chopped into bits here. Oh, Shadow Guard going into Alpha Strike, and then they're dying. Um, I suppose Ultralisk. I thought Manx was going to go for, like, an August Grad or some tanks or something. But okay. Okay, I'm going to get some more of these, but I'm going to get some Stealth Void Rays here in the back. Uh, the Void Rays are really just here to stack. I really... They're they are terrible into Tychus. Like, absolutely horrendous. Um, can I get another one, though? I just, I just want them to be invisible in the back, you know? Is that one invisible? That one's not invisible. Okay, whatever. It's fine. That, that is fine. It's fine. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put this one over here. Put this one over there. There we go. Um... Get that prismatic range. Void Rays might just walk right past them. I don't know. My Stalkers are still alive. That's the important part here. Uh, the Stalker Stacker is pretty effective here, I suppose. Uh, uh oh. Void Rays getting shot down here. There we go. We got a big Artanis shield coming out here. I'm going to need my Void Rays to stack, I think. But um, at the end of the day, my Stalkers are doing a great job stacking. It really helps when Manx uh, hasn't put out a unit for like the first like six minutes of the game. It really, really helps, you know. Aegis Guard would be able to rip rip their way through here. I don't know what our Man what the enemy Manx is doing here. I got a feeling though he's trying to rush. He's trying to rush something cheesy, and it's not working out. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna get another one of these guys here. Prismatic range, prismatic core online. Now my boy actually have ten range because of a uh, force. Uh, Okay, I'm going to upgrade ground weapons, because I have so many stalkers and they're just constantly staying alive. Very useful against those Ultralisk here. He does have an Aegis Guard, though. Um, Aegis Guard should be able to do a decent number, but he's not going to be able to kill off my stalkers, because they're just constantly blinking back and forth. Uh, <clears throat> Shadow Guard doing their best to just dice up those DTs here. Uh, Void Rays here, just burning, burning a hole through the, through the, through the fortresses here. Alright, Laser Beam is gone. Void Rays burning a hole through the Nexus here. Hopefully the Stalkers keep taking aggro, so Void Rays can keep burning. Void Rays are definitely starting to burn a hole into, uh, into, uh, the Nexus here. I don't know what the enemy Manx is doing. Um, whatever it is, it's kind of suspicious. Void Rays are just, the Void Rays, these two Void Rays here, hero, they just burned down the Nexus here. Um... But yeah, I, I I don't know what Max was doing here. I <laughs> I genuinely do not know what Max was doing here. I did 26k damage, pretty good because uh, we were able to stack forces, pretty good because uh, it helps my stalkers blink back and then run back into the fight here. Uh, Artanis actually doing just a little bit more damage than Max, which is kind of sad considering he was uh, putting out units the, the entire game uh, into Swan. That uh, you don't want Archons into Swan. You, you, I don't know, I guess Archons are good against Hellbats, but like, mm, Immortals and uh, Reavers would be better. Um, Tychus, did Tychus only buy three guys? Ah, he bought three guys and upgrades. No, no, just get more guys, I think, at this point. Alright, that was short. Let's go for another round. Alright, and we are back. Let's get right to it. Boom. Hopefully I get a uh, cooldown reduction this time. Uh, we'll see. Well, that reduction is, uh, is very, 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 very good. Uh, ah, oh, there it is, boys. We got the water. Let's go, baby. You gotta get yourself some water.
Get yourself some water right now. Take a drink. You got a Carax? Okay, we got Haunted Horn. Okay. Pretty good. All right, let's go. Oh, this is going to be so juicy. Seven second cooldown. Pretty good. I think it's like eight seconds, right? And then so if it's reduced by 25%, you take off like two whole seconds, which should put it down to six seconds. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe it puts down seven seconds. I don't know. This looks like there's a Carax here. Uh, why did both my stalkers just explode there? I wasn't paying attention to the health bars. I guess their health bars just ran out. Um, but Carax is in the middle position. I don't actually know what I'm up against here. I don't know what purple's playing as, but uh, I guess we'll find out quite soon enough. Um, can I stack my photon cannons here? Because then Karras can put a shield battery here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stack all my photon cannons here. I don't know how advisable that idea is, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Uh, let's see. So we got this guy. Oh, it's another Manx again. That means DTs. Yeah, we need some DTs. Um, because DTs can blink around here and really do some damage. Um, uh, and cooldown reduction on DT blink is actually really, really good. Um, because DT blink does slices and it really dices up Manx as a mostly light unit wave. Uh, this one Aegis Guard is not tier 3 though, so he's not going to be able to cut his way through our stalkers yet. Yet. Slowly inching forward here. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to greed gas here. Get that greed gas going. I mean, the stalkers here are just going to annoy these sentinels forever. Uh-oh. Got some lag here. Uh, how are we doing? All right. We got an avatar over here. Okay. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna need to buy some DTs though because as soon as um, LMG boys start coming in in large numbers, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. And look at that, this shield battery here should be able to shield all of my cannons, uh, and that's gonna be absolutely beautiful here. Um, let's see what's happening though. Uh, oh, those are lings. That's bad. Lings are bad. Uh, that's a lot of Aegis card though. I think I can probably beat up Aegis Guard with DTs. I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, my one cannon here taking some heavy pounding from that Aegis Guard. No innuendos. Absolutely zero innuendos intended. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna get... Ooh, we got some... We got some Mirages coming in here. That's okay. Uh, okay. I guess my Stalkers can't blink when they're CC'd by Mirages, can they? Hmm. That's okay. I'm gonna grab some Shadow Fury here. Because uh, my guys already have plus one armor as well, so that's gonna make them quite durable. Uh, yeah, but not against not against uh, those Mirages, I guess. The Mirages are really causing us some trouble here. Uh huh. My DT should be able to slice their way through those Roaches here quite nicely. And Shadow Fury is gonna come off of cooldown very soon. He has no detection here. And he's going to blink around, chopping up all his boys here. Does he have life on his guys? No, he doesn't. What does he have? What does he have? He has six armor. He has earth on his guys. He has earth on his guys. That's nuts. Our characters are just rushing carriers. What a madman. Um, I mean, I guess. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to put down some, uh, some more. Uh... I kind of want to go tier 3 just for some Shadow Guard, but honestly, I don't feel like Shadow Guard are worth it. Like, they're, they're, they're 300 minerals worth the DTs, but like, I mean, 200 mineral DTs with like 300 HP, but honestly, I think these guys here with 200 HP can cut it already. You know, like, I feel, I feel like they do they do a good enough job um, for what I'm, what I'm getting them to do, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I got the feeling that this game is going to be a bit of a longer game by comparison here. Uh, my DT's coming in. They're being spotted. They're being spotted. We have been spotted. I repeat, we have been spotted. I kind of want a black hole here, but also kind of don't want to. Uh, Aegis Guard here are going to start doing a big number on me. As you can see. Uh, I'm just going to black hole here. Just, just, just take him out. Take him out. Come on, Kedar Monolith. Okay, there's the beam. The beam here apparently targeting detection and not the Aegis Guards. Uh, very nice. 
Very, 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 very smart choice by the beam here. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get some more guys here. DT's here getting some kills, 13 kills. Uh, there we go. Get some more stalkers down here. Uh, enemy Karak's dropping a beam on Arhan and Horner, who has decided to go Reapers. Very, very interesting choice. I do not understand the Reapers, but okay. Reapers are by far not the correct choice here, I would say. Um, anyways, DTs are just going to slice their way through here. Uh, uh oh. Let's see. DTs just blinking. We got a we got a Sky Fury that's here? Question mark? Why is there a Sky Fury here? That's fairly interesting. Um, Stalkers are getting blown out of the water here by um, by the Aegis cards. I don't like that. Um, let's see. Carriers here only do 6 damage. The Aegis cards have 6 armor. This here is why carriers suck, guys. Uh, <clears throat> that being said, though, I need to do something about... I need to do something about 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 detection here. Um, getting that stealth dry. We're in a bit of a pickle here because um, our structure just got pushed down here. Aegis guard are quite aggressive, uh, and I can only really deal with them once I start scaling harder into the late game. My corsairs should be able to just destroy them, probably. Probably, yeah. Corsairs, corsairs. There we go, corsairs. Uh, disruption web here. Uh, they're, they're doing their best to take out this Overlord, but, uh, or me Overseer. The Overseer's got a little too much health here. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad here. That's the one weakness with the Stalker build. You get overrun pretty hard. Um, and... Yeah, these guys got three armor. Jesus. Can you imagine, like, boys with that much armor? Oh, he has a Sky Furies for these, for these carriers here. Five armor Sky Furies, you're not getting through those. Uh, especially not with carriers. Um, uh, okay. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need more meat shields here. Um, let's go. Let's see, we got a Deimos Viking coming out here. <clears throat> How are we doing here on the Corsairs? Only doing 5 damage, though. Feels bad. If I'm against light units, I guess that'll be pretty good. I'm gonna try and go for a Disruption Web here. Um, uh, ba da ba da ba Corsairs here, getting taken out by Mirages, though. Kinda bad. Kinda bad. Uh, <clears throat> I'm losing here quite hard. Oh my god, those roaches are actually just messing me up here. Cause I mean, I'm slow. I'm slow pushing into the nexus, but the nexus doesn't offer that security it used to offer with the increased attack speed. Um, now because of the decreased attack speed, I really can't clean up here. Uh, and there's a lot of lings. Lings are going to do a lot of chip damage here. I don't have a black hole. Oh, we're so screwed. That's it, boys. That's it, boys. Oh, I think. Hmm. I don't know, like, my stalkers did okay. They did okay, but I feel like maybe if I went hardcore, like, Corsairs instead, maybe this would have been better. Like, DT Corsair or something. Just, like, blink in, like, chop everything up here. Corsairs just shoot down the detector. Although he does have four armor. Oh my god. I need a Void Ray for that. Um, but... Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate here. Let's have a look at the, 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 the compositions here in terms of damage dealt. Uh, not surprising. Manx doing a lot of damage. I took a lot of damage here. Um, yep, that's Manx, boys. That's that's the aggro Manx coming in. Uh, I don't know why Hunter and Horner went for what they did, though. Because they were against Abathur. No need to go Reapers against Abathur. Um, honestly, like, just... Just, just, just... Don't buy Reapers, guys. Reapers suck. Reapers suck. Unless you get fire. Reapers are just... You, you never want to buy them. You want to spend your money on Deimos Vikings, and you want to spend your money on, on Hellbats and Grenade Cars. Those are really all you need. And Grenade Cars do so good against Roaches. If you just got a few more of those, that would have been fine. Um, I guess Karax going Carries is like... It's kind of sensible in a Karax mirror match, but also Carriers into Minx is like a death sentence. Uh, but yeah, you know what? It's okay. If you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. We got a we got a Deimos Viking here just cruising on the ground. We got a Deimos Viking that's just cruising in the air, but uh, they're not in the right modes for either of these. That's pretty cool here. Leave a like for those. Uh, and yeah, drop a sub if you're not yet subbed. So you can head over to that 900 ASAP and tune in next weekend for that stream. Until next time, I'll see you guys.